Hello traders, welcome to Allies Blue. This is Deepan Gogoi. So in this video, I'll discuss about the crude oil. So first thing in crude oil. Uh, so when you gonna trade in crude oil or whatever anywhere. So first, you always remember three things. So let me uh, tell you. Uh, number one, trend, right? You always remember what the trend in this market, right? Trend. So if you see in a crude oil, so here you can see uh, the crude oil is running in a uptrend, right? So how will determine uh, that trend is up or down? So that is why I just uh, creating some uh, blogs and in our web page. So I'll tell you, uh, I'll show you how to read the whole thing. So first thing we have to find out the trend. So now we can see here the trend is up, right? This is the uptrend. So if you see here, so we have to confirm trend is uptrend, right? This is the uptrend. So when price is placing an uptrend, so and uh, the uptrend is running in a range, right? So this is the uptrend, and now you can see that that is the range, like that. So first time we confirm that trend is up. Next we have to find out what is the range of this market. So here you can see now price is running in this range. Have you seen? That means why we need that range. In uptrend, we'll trade in between these range only. Have you seen? In between these range only. Right? So that means when we'll get the opportunity in a below near supporting point, we'll go for buy. And when we'll uh, get the opportunity in a above near resistance level, we're gonna sell. Right? So that is why we need uh, we need a range. So that is why you can see here number two range, right? Range. Range, right? Next, uh, number two is a range. So here, here you can see this is the range, right? So that means we will trade in between this range. Number three pattern. Pattern, right? Pattern. So that three things we have to focus when we uh, when we are trading in this market, right? So first thing we have confirmed that the market is uptrend in a large time frame, right? Like four hour. Next range we have uh, we we just we have seen this one. Uh, this is our range right now. The market is running in this range, all right? We are expecting their range, right? And the third thing, what pattern are forming? For the pattern, uh, so you can visit to our uh, new blog page. So still we are not uh, launching in market. So this is our page. So I think uh, uh, before Monday, so today you can see uh, Thursday, right? Uh, today is the Thursday. So uh, before 6, uh, we're going to launch this uh, page. So here I just arrange for you. For trader who uh, they have a little more confused uh, about the market so here I uh, put here like a methodology so methodology uh, methodology is uh, like a, uh, trading strategy so what uh, strategy you are using like uh, scalp trading scalp trading that means I am uh, mentioning everything here you can go and read the properly so after Monday so here you can see this is the method uh, methodology so scalp trading strategy so you can read everything here uh, what is the benefit of uh, scalp trading right what is the drawback of scalp trading and the conclusion you can read the whole thing what the risk management everything are here so one thing you can go for if you want a day trader like oftenly doing buy sell buy sell so there there will be a strategy various type of strategy trading strategy next day trading who are trading for the day only right today like morning they have place order and they're closing before market close and the swing trading strategies various type of for the week or uh, month and positional uh, who people are investing for the long term right 
So you can go for indicator. So here you can the various type of indicator, trend indicator, momentum indicator, volatility indicator, volume indicator, cycle indicator, Bill Williams indicator. So when once you click so you'll find the various type of trend indicator. So just I'm uh, updating here. So Monday, I think uh, I'm going to launch this uh, phase. So by clicking this one, suppose this is a trend indicator to find out the trend in this market. So you just go through here, quick summary, you will find what is the ADX means, and uh, what type of pattern are forming, where is your entry point and exit point, then how to trade in ADX line. Right, so you can go for like that indicator, uh, mo uh, momentum, everything, and the pattern. So pattern you can go for here if you wanna click chart pattern. So I told you that uh, what pattern is forming, right? So I'll mention here what type of pattern are there, right? You can go and read that pattern. What type of pattern are forming, right? So another option I here expert advisory. Have you seen this one expert advisory? So that means expert advisory. I think you know our end desk. We have a opportunity semi algo by coding that uh, automatically you will get the buy and sell signal, right? So I just uh, met this one. So suppose if you wanna the code, so just you go to here and click get code and like Isimoko Cloud, right? So if you don't know about this Moco line, you just go through here and read properly uh, what is that actual and everything you will find criteria buy and sell and after that you will get the skip and copy this one and go through our end desk. So I think I already made it about this how to uh, create that uh, expert advisory buy and sell signal automatically so you'll find here right so now you can see a third thing here what pattern is forming right if you see here right if you see here what pattern are forming so that is why we have to find out what pattern uh, are forming it is a head and shoulder pattern cup and head and shoulder butterfly pattern a crab pattern everything forming here so that is why uh, I'm just creating that uh, page for you so after that uh, when you will get the pattern so according accordingly you can trade in this pattern right so now you can see a bank nifty is uh, sorry uh, total is running in this range right so so we have to trade in between this range only so now we can see another our, our last point so let me draw a horizontal line because here are near 200 moving averages so let me remove down here because why i play sl here if you see in a market behavior previously they broke this 200 moving average have you seen broke this 200 moving average so if they broke this 200 moving average people are thinking yeah they broke this 200 moving average and price will fall right here also same 200 moving average uh, black one so broke and again price gone up right same market behavior might be here also right so if the break that is why i just place by uh, according to pbs uh, resistance level have you seen this is a little more below so that means it will be a zone right this is will be a zone so it is a high probability to uh, rebound from this area right so if the break this level around 4090 so we will expect that market will uh, like a downturn will start right so that is why we will take buy risk up to that area around 409 right so from this area we're gonna buy only right this is the upper our buy opportunity now you can see here for the 15 minute uh, we have seen that uh, range now you can see uh, crude oil is running like that right now price is just bouncing from moving average 100 have you seen this previous one sorry 150 so we are expecting uh first bounce from uh, 150 next you can see uh, price was bouncing from 50 moving average have you seen uh, let me more zoom here now you can see here first bounce uh we have seen 
it uh, 150 moving average price bounce now they are following 50 moving average have you seen this yellow line is a 50 moving average price is bouncing from 50 moving average so we have to uh, that means high probability to bounce from 50 moving average again right so if here if you want to enter for the sell our target i already uh, determined that our target so if the all if the break uh, sorry uh, it is a high probability to bounce from this uh, moving average because previous market behavior so if you want to sell here you just place sl above this previous higher point have you seen this one previous higher point so you you're gonna place above previous higher point and it will be near 150 moving average just a little more above and our target will be ratio will be one is to one so here you can see it is our ratio and it is our target right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like uh, like and subscribe thanks for watching